Nan Nan Biri is identical to Higurashi in terms of its setting, but what you get of the former is a complete inverse of the latter. Rather than fear, paranoia, murder, and plot twists, we have calm, nostalgia, rejuvenation, and a simple story. So the next one is Bartender. Bartender is a show that has sadly been overlooked by many. It's certainly not a show intended for younger, immature audiences and won't appeal to those who want action-packed shows. It is a very calm, relaxing and mellow show. It's not meant to thrill the viewers with magical girls, mechas, action or even ambition. Instead, it's meant to show reality at its finest and that your bartender can be a good friend, a great listener and a teacher and guide in life. We see that hope can find its way into everyone's life, it just takes a good listener to open up for it. You also learn something new about alcohol, specifically cocktails in every episode, and that everyone has some type of drink that fits them the best. It's an extremely cozy anime. If you're into ASMR, I think you'll enjoy Bartender. ただのスープじゃな。これ何かアルコールが入ってる。はまずはビーフブイヨン。またはキューブでも問題はありませんので、これを90ミリリットル温めてカップに。そこへウォッカを45ミリリットル程度、あとはお好みでウスターソースや
meaning robots, androids, artificial intelligences with a soul, own thought processes, emotions and all that stuff. Eve no Jikan is thought-provoking and can get quite sad at times, so if you don't like serious topics or thinking about what you just watched, avoid. If you like psychological or philosophical themes mixed with slice of life, however, and don't mind if shows are almost free of comedic moments, I'd state Eve Nuji Khan as one of the definite must-watches. If there is something to be said about Silver Spoon, we can probably boil it down to three core ingredients. Food, agriculture and life. Those are no small matters, but Arakawa Hiromu has masterfully blended these hefty issues into an easily digestible, comforting and befitting resonant intimate work. Four, Beck. First of all, you don't need to be a music buff to enjoy Beck, Mongolian chop squad. Though it sure does help. Beck brings forth a story in classic underdog fashion. It follows the life of Koyuki and his place in the band Beck. Koyuki is unsure of his place in life. Until the day he runs into guitarist Ryusuke Minami, the two get acquainted through the process of searching for Ryusuke's missing dog. This is where that expression comes in. And the rest was history. I must admit that I am a big fan of the underdog success story, and Beck nails it right on the head. <laughs> 3. Usagi Draw Much like Rin herself, this anime was small in scale but large in heart. A simple tale exploring the relationship between 30-year-old Daikichi and Rin, his 6-year-old aunt who he takes under his wing when no one else in the family seems to care. Watching them get to know each other and Daikichi fumble his way through suddenly becoming a parent is the core of what makes this show so enjoyable. This anime makes me remember my parents and what they did to raise me like sacrificing their time to teach, care and love me. It also reminds us of how being a parent is not as simple and easy as it is, but learning it improves one's understanding of how our parents have endured and felt during the years of raising us. <laughs> Orange, 
2. Aria the Origination Aria the Origination is a member of a three-part series starting from Aria the Animation. In order to fully appreciate Origination, one should really watch Animation and the Natural first. I consider Aria the Origination to be an excellent conclusion to the series, so that's why I took this spot. They did it again with a show that, while enjoyable, had very little story to it. A journey always has a beginning and an end. What makes Arya so special was its unrest focus on not only Akari's but everyone else's journey. This show rekindled many personal moments in my life. Emotions such as seeing the departure of someone who you love and respect. It was both highly moving and incredibly enjoyable. It was much more involving with more of a tangible plot that focused on that which we all will dread. The end of everyone's journey on New Venezia. It becomes more developed, eventually finishing and then we have the unfinished nature that suggests life goes on. The Arya series is perhaps the most chillaxing of all anime and the closest thing you'll get to ASMR in anime form. It's definitely one of the best slice of life animes ever made. Uh, Number 1. Uchiu Kyodai An unwavering dream can be like a mountain, as steep and as long as the journey might be. Reaching the top is never impossible. Uchiu Kyodai proves that nothing is ever too late when it comes to following your dreams. This is hands down the most hilarious and one of the most authentic slice of life animes I've ever seen. I'm not kidding when I say that it could go for one of the best comedies ever, too. Uchiu Kyodai gives you the feeling that even you, if you pursue it, can achieve your dream. Nothing can stop you as long as you want it. There are indeed many hardships along the way, but with the belief to the power of your dreams, you'll get there. Nothing is too late and never is not real. Take a deep breath, step forward, and just like the Nanba brothers, reach out for the moon. Hi, どうぞ。失礼します。ナンバムッタです。はい、こんにちは。宇宙飛行士のノウチソウチです。<笑> <失礼します。笑> <笑> ヒューストンにようこそ。ナンバー、ムッタ君。はい。すっごい。野口さんだ。本物だ。おお。野口さんの隣には若田さんに星出さん。うへへ、やばいだろう。木崎さん。宮田さん。村崎さんまでいる。
ちょっと緩めすぎたかな,なんだこれはいか笑顔キープ。